So I was playing some uh, review queue stuff last night, or not not review queue. I actually decided to go into the newest maps area. Now normally I wouldn't review anything from newest maps because, as far as I'm concerned, uh, there I don't like to review anything unless a it's in the review queue or b I'm you know it's it's from somebody that I've either you know reviewed in the past or has made it clear that they want me to review their stuff. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because I feel like you know not necessarily everybody that posts their stuff to you know, to the Doom Snap Map servers is looking to have somebody come in and nitpick their stuff. Uh, you know, in some cases, people are just trying to get the trophy or the achievement for making a map. You know, other times it's just kids starting out for the first time, whatever. The point is, you know, the putting a map on the server, in my opinion, is not automatically a cause for somebody to come in and say, hey, come in and nitpick my stuff on YouTube, you know. Um, that said, uh, I ran across one that was interesting for two reasons, and I wanted to just kind of show it off real quick. Uh, with... I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Okay. So, uh, a couple things. First of all, uh, the just another thing I wanted to point out, uh, using the uh, using the audio from the campaign... Uh, which, you know, it's neither here nor there. I, I'm kind of wonky about it, though. But I just want to show you a couple things. First off, you'll notice they started us out as a Baron of Hell. Not a bad idea. I mean, personally, I've been trying to earn an achievement where you play X amount of maps uh, as, a, as a demon. So this would be a great map for that. Uh, now, but I want you to just look at what room I'm in here. Notice what room I'm in. Uh, this is the server room end piece. Uh, and... Anybody that's watched a lot of my videos will know that I, I've noticed a trend with this particular room, and that trend is that everybody likes to mess with the module environment settings in here and, and goof with the lighting. Like, it's a consistent thing. Now, this person here, if I'm not mistaken, this is their first map that they've ever made. The, this, this was their attempt to experiment, and their very first thing that they did was to start you out in the server end cap and goof with the lights. Now, you might be thinking, well, hey, maybe they've got this same light level in all their rooms and stuff. Uh, well, okay, just a couple things I want to show you before we move on. You'll notice there's a mix-on switch here and a super shotgun that I can't get because I'm in Baron of Hell mode. All right. So one would think, okay, maybe somewhere in this room is a way for me to, uh, to not be a Baron of Hell anymore, or maybe this effect wears off. Uh, no, and uh, so first off, I can't get on that because I'm too tall, but I can get on this. Alright, so anyway, and you'll notice they also started us out over here, you know, neither here nor there. The point is, I've been started as a Baron of Hell in a room that was clearly designed to be started by Doom Guy. Alright, so there's only one way out of the room, this teleporter. Now, notice something. The lighting goes back to normal, right? Okay, so... That lighting attempt was not only intentional, intentional, but only applied to that room. So the only room where they messed with the lighting was the server end cap, right? Like, and that's become a thing. Now, now to move on to the second thing, you'll notice as we come in here, a, I'm still a Baron of Hell. B, there's no way for me to not be a Baron of Hell. And C, we're dealing with three locked doors two of which apparently require power cores of some sort, and the third, which is probably opened by a mix on switch or something like that, and then you've got uh, a chain gun here. So all evidence points to this board being designed for you to start as Doom Guy. But yet I've uh, this was published with me only being able to do Baron of Hell and only get to these two rooms. I can run back and forth, I can do that. Oh, and notice that. I just noticed that, too. There's a second super shotgun out here. You know, and uh, what looks like uh, maybe a burst rifle. Is that the burst rifle? Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, you know, I'm not sure how this got published. It might be somebody, like, hit publish when they meant to hit save, and this was just an experiment. Fair enough. You know, maybe they just did this for the trophy. Whatever. I'm not I'm not going to knock it. I'm, I'm certainly... I'm not, I'm not here to critique this, this map. You know, I mean, we can all cl clearly see that it's broken, you know, and that it's all pretty much just existing to experiment with set pieces and stuff. But isn't that interesting that, you know, even in this particular case, 
this 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 weird sort of offshoot case where somebody was just playing around with stuff for the first time, they would change the lights in the server end cap. It's just keep an eye open for that phenomena because I swear it happens so often, and I, I just I think it's funny. I, I I I'm not sure what what it is about the server end cap uh, set piece that makes people want to change the lights in it, but there you have it. It's it's a thing. It's officially a thing. You keep your eye open for it. I'm, I'm gonna, whenever possible, collect footage of it. And eventually, I want to do a map, uh, like a big super cut of all the maps I've played where people, you know, Jimmy the lights in the server room. Uh, but yeah, that's we we've got an official trope in our midst. That is so cool.